in history, all four belts in the cruiserweight division will belong proudly around the waist of one man. James Elder, I come to the MTK Globe and with me I've got British light heavyweight champion Frank Bullioni. We're here today at the media workouts. Firstly, Frank, how are you keeping, mate? Yeah, very well, thank you, James. Good. Yourself? Good, yeah, very well. Chance for you to take a fourth undefeated fighters O in a row. You're taking on the very yeah. talented Callum Johnson this Saturday. Firstly, excited about this, another big opportunity for you. Yeah, I thrive under the big occasions. Um, it's a massive opportunity for me to cement my name down in history. Um, it's been, so far, it's been uh, all worthy, good challenges. Um, Jose Burton, solid fire, uh, tall and awkward. Ricky Summers, as durable as they come. Um, Craig Richards, tricky, awkward customer, good boxer. And now uh, Callum Johnson, he can bang a little bit, and um, he's kind of more compact and uh, a bit explosive. So. Uh, yeah, every single fight has given me uh, given me another learning curve. It's been. Yeah, I know you'll be concentrating on what you can do and what you're going to bring to the fight. But having had that epic fight with Jose Burton and obviously Callum Johnson being trained by Joe Gallagher, are you pretty convinced that they're going to know what to expect from yourself? Callum Johnson is the B side when it comes to him and Jose Burton. Um, Jose Burton is is the better fighter in the, in the camp. Um, I think they actually had to. Not let him spar too much because Jose Burton was getting so much the better of it. Um, so that being said, he's obviously he's he's not as good as Jose Burton, but then Styles make fights, so I haven't taken too much um, notice of that. I've still trained like he is the the best fighter I've come across, and um, if he isn't, then he's in a world of trouble. Do you think it's going to be a fight that the fans remember? Such a big card. Do you think this will be one of the fights that steals the show? Uh, I don't think so, no. I think it's going to be a bit too one-sided for that, James. Um, Callum Johnson, uh, the, the closer I get to it, um, the sharper I feel, the better I feel, the more confident I feel. Um, and the, the inactivity, I think, is going to play a big part. Um, I want to go and put the right hand straight on his chin. And uh, if, he's, if he's not 100% and if he hasn't been sparring top quality fighters, and, you can't, you can't really condition yourself. He hasn't, he's, he hasn't been hit by a 10 ounce glove of a solid light heavyweight ever. Um, I know, I know sparring, sparring, but um, I know what I've heard and I know what's gone on. And um, he's in a world of trouble, as I said. Main event, William White, Lucas Brown, an exciting fight. Everyone likes to see the big heavyweights going at it. What, what are your thoughts on that contest? Oh, it's a great fight and uh, two characters. Um, Lucas Brown, he was down the gym, very nice guy. Um, Dylan White, again, uh, very, very, uh, very big character. Um, I just think his experiences in his youth is going to come through. Um, take nothing away from uh, Lucas Brown; he's done wonderful considering his his short time in the game. Um, but he's a little bit older now, um, and I think just youth and um, Dylan's big fight experience is going to come through. In fact, it's in, in his home territory as well; all plays a part. Do you think this is a chance for yourself to, to make a statement with the rest of the domestic light heavyweights in the country? The likes of Burton, the likes of Anthony Yard, and so alike. Yeah, without a doubt, I think I've... Uh, that's uh, Derek Gisele with a nudge, with a shoulder bite. Lucky no. he's got all them with him. <laughs> um, no, I think, uh, I think I've already kind of, I've, I've done that. I've cemented myself as the best in Britain. And um, this will be the, kind of like the, the last little bit. Um, I expect to make make a statement, and uh, it's it's going to be a very hard night for uh, for Callum Johnson. Yard in the future, the showdown. Do you think it'll happen? Possibly. Um, I'd like to. I'd like to think so. Um, there's no qualms on my side, so um, I'll come through on Saturday in flying colours, and then we'll see what's about. The emergence of Joshua Bawatsi as well, a bit of a dark horse in the division. Hey. It's just sort of moving up in terms yeah. of class and quality, probably a good few fights behind yourself at the moment but you see him as a real threat in the future um, possibly I mean he, he's, a, he's a good few years behind me I've kind of I've had my apprenticeship I've kind of I've had my ups and downs and I've, I've come through it so um, I've, been, I've been a pro six and a half years now so, so it's a long time in the game and uh, it's, it's very hard to kind of get that experience quickly unless you've had hundreds and hundreds of amateur fights uh, I'm talking about like the Lomachenko's the Paterbiev's the, uh, the Bivol's those sort of fighters um, I think Joshua Bratz is a great fighter and he's, he's got a big future in the game, but it'd be, uh, it'd be foolish to kind of try and rush it too quick, too soon. Um, I, I'd say he's a, 
he's going to be challenging for British titles maybe in a year, 18 months. We saw Dimitri Bivol come through his fight against Sullivan Bar Barrera in yeah. emphatic style. Yeah. Is, is Bivol someone that you would like to share a ring with in the future? Certainly in the future. I'm, I'm looking at all the world champions, but um, I'll probably looking looking at it, you, you've got to look at Kovalev's kind of coming to the end of his career maybe in a couple of years, but the landscape changes all the time. Who knows? Uh, injuries, illnesses. Um, kind of, there's, there's, there's so many scenarios that can pan out, so I don't try and focus too much on anything too far in the future. I'm looking at my next opponent, that's the most important thing. I'll get that done and I'll sit down with my team and we'll, we'll scope out our next, our next move. Big show, I know you've been under the lights on these big cards. You must be getting used to these big crowds and big lights coming out. Yeah, I've been here, I've done it. Uh, I like I like these public workouts, I like the press conference, I like the weigh-ins. It's, it's fight week, it's kind of what I, I look forward to. This is all the hard work and uh, all the dedication and discipline. If you put that work in, these sort of things, they're, uh, they're a bonus and they're enjoyment. If you kind of, if you, if you cut a few corners, if you skipped a few things and you're not kind of secure in your camp and you haven't done the right things, then you're nervous when you come into these sort of situations. So for me, I love them. When you know you've done your work, you need to right. wait, you can just yeah. relax and the enjoy the, the fight week. Yeah. The hard work's been done, exactly. So now I'm just going to soak it all up and enjoy it. Last word to you, fight prediction for your fight against Callum Johnson. I don't see Callum Johnson making it past six rounds. Big statement. Big, big statement. Mark my words. Can't wait for a great fight, Frank. Thank you very much for your time today, sir. James, thank you very much. You thank, Dude, you. thank you. First time in history, all four belts in the Cruiserweight division will belong proudly around the waist of one man.